to the name, as they show support for the first arrivals of refugees from Syria to Ottawa. But as it turns out, the lyrics had a far more sinister meaning. According to an expert at the Toronto Sun Monday, it's only sung in the praise of the Holy Prophet and for no one else. In other words, Islamists who had absolutely no intention of even thinking about a war gets a war song where it sounds like the Canadian children have agreed to stop fighting and praise the winners of the war. Could you imagine how unbelievably uncomfortable you would be if you were an instant law more Islamist? Like, what are these idiots doing? Another told the son that Islamic scholars agree that the lyrics to the poem Tala al Badrul al Yania clearly indicate. I did good, didn't I? Clearly indicate that it was composed on the occasion of the return of Muhammad victorious from the Battle of Tabuk against the Christian Romans and their Arab allies. So, in other words, it's a song about killing Arabs that you don't like and Christians that you never liked. The video of the performance was posted online in mid-December and states, Welcome to Canada, Syrian Refugees. The description reads, quote, historical song that was sung to the Prophet Muhammad when he sought refuge from Makkah to Medina. And it's been seen over a million times. It was not refuge that he was seeking. He slaughtered innocent people and bragged about it in a song. That song was sung to homeless refugees as they entered a country. If only I sang Dunn's Caps Overseas. It says, well done, De La Salle. Yeah, of course, Justin Trudeau, idiot. The Middle Eastern scholar is quoted as in the sun saying, most Muslims would understand this nasheed as something ancient religious and quite innocuous, but Islamists understand it as a victory song. So most immigrants would feel heartwarmed by hearing it on arrival to Canada, but some would understand it as the subjugation of kerfers who are singing it. In other words, the unbeliever or infidel has just capitulated to the Muslims and pretty much apologized for their religion, for their Christianity, and for their culture, even if they're atheists. An intelligence expert provided the simplest summary for the post of all of this to means. It says, Muslims and non-Muslims worldwide wrestle daily with terrorism, so it's astonishing that Canadian public school officials could blow scarce tax money to create a children's choir piece said to evoke images of jihadist victory over infidels. That would be Islamists killing non-Islamists. That would be Canadians. Again, imagine how weird that would be if you were the Islamist. Why are you singing that to me for? The only thing weirder is the way some Canadians embrace the apparently Islamic theme music as a welcoming song for Syrian migrants, who might include non-Muslim non escaping jihad Islamist violence. In other words, it's a song that ISIS would sing to the, is, to the Arabs who are now refugees. They sang an ISIS victory song to people who were fleeing ISIS. These are your leaders! Friends, you're listening to The Correct Views. <coughs> Sam I.B. signing off here at The Correct Views. If you want to donate to the show, you can do so at The Correct Views at Hotmail.com. Every penny you give to me goes towards a better show. Also, please look up the work of Mike McLaughlin, M-A-C-L-U-G-H-L-I-N, on Facebook. He does political stories, he does uh, poetry, even vampire stories. He's a writer, and he's amazing. So check him out, friends. Good night. God bless.